Today we're going to have a look at a beautiful game played by Mikhail Tal, the magician from Riga and one of the most loved chess players of all time. And this game absolutely made my day. I was uh, having quite a bad day, but I looked at this game and honestly, I had a, uh, uh, I'm having a wonderful time. This is so beautiful and it doesn't make sense to just, uh, I think as a commentator, it doesn't make sense for me to go ahead and find mistakes and errors. And it's so cruel of me to do that. I think the best way to enjoy the game of Tal is just to go through it rather than judging or finding mistakes analysis is fine but i think just looking at the game and appreciating its beauty is is more than enough so it's white to play it's tal versus gelco played in 1969 it's uh white to play if you can if you want you can go ahead pause the video and try to find the move that tal found here or you can simply lean back and enjoy the beauty of this game i think it's simply a wonderful idea so and it was in this position you can see tal's queen is under attack but does it matter in this position, Tal sacrificed his queen with rook takes on g7. So black has the opportunity to capture Tal's queen and he did that. But from here on, Tal is in absolute control and he just completely dominates the game. So rook f7 check. Going to g8 doesn't really help because of knight e7 followed by rook g1. That will be completely crushing. That's the reason king goes to e8. But now we have the very simple move. Rook takes on e7. That's a double check. The rook and the bishop are giving a check. So... In case of a double check, you can't really do anything. The king has to run wildly and it has to go to f8. Now white continues the attack with the very simple move, rook to f1, just bringing more attackers in the game. And this is completely, uh, complete destruction. Look at all of our pieces. They are they're just too, too powerful. Uh, I think even the knight on d5 is more powerful than the queen on d8. I think it's, they're just too powerful pieces. So king to g8 is played. And now Tal played rook f to f7. And this is the point where uh, his opponent Galko resigned. The game would have typically continued as knight f6 is threatened. Knight f6 checkmate is threatened. The game would have continued with something like uh, queen to d6. But then the beautiful ending is knight f6 check. Only option for his, for black is to capture. And now rook e8 is a very pretty checkmate. Uh, this is simply a beautiful game. And I had a wonderful time just going through it. It made me very calm and serene somehow. So... Uh, that's what with Tal game, you don't analyze them, you don't go into much of depth, uh, you you you, uh, you just don't judge the game, you don't find mistakes, you just enjoy the game, enjoy the beauty of the game and appreciate his brilliance. So, hope you enjoyed this uh, great game by Mikhail Tal. Uh, thank you for watching and do subscribe to my YouTube channel, more videos are on the way.